So apa yang buat Nick tukar image to what you are right now? Okay, basically right. Many people ask me why I love the bad boy image so much. Kenapa I like the bad boy image? It's just a character. It's just a style. You know, it's just a style. We have many bad boy characters all over the world. We have Johnny Depp, who's such a bad boy. Actually, the truth is, can yes, it's true. When I came into industry, I have always loved tattoos too young. I have always loved it. It's for me. It's body art. Uh, at the same time, I would not be a hypocrite to say that you know, coming from gangs, coming from you know, those. Uh, in the past, coming from gangs, that having tattoos looks very fierce and very cool lah. But all my tattoos in my body all have meaning. They tak ada yang tak ada meaning. I don't I don't do a tattoo just for the sake of looking good. My life story is my body. It reminds me. And dulu I cannot go all out because I still think I want to become an actor. So I need to control what I like. Dulu mah ada, cuma dia tak se extreme sekarang lah. My tattoos are basically. My aroma, my name, uh, my wife's name, and uh, the journey of my life and my hands. Um, it's more of, you know, every morning when I look at the mirror, those things reminds me of who I am. And the image too, kan? Dia a bit, dia a bit controversial lah. If you pandang dari sudut of agama, it's wrong lah. But you see. Um, I would say that I was brought up right, you know, that interest in ink. Uh, when I feel pain, I started to get a lot of tattoos when my mom passed away. She passed away when I was 21. That's where my 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 craving for pain is there. It's a bit funny lah. I have a lot of pain in my life, you know. My pain is uh, I lost a mom, I lost a dad. I lost a sister, I lost a brother. I don't have anyone in my life. I don't have anyone in my life that's blood related except my son. So I have a lot of pain. And when I do and have a, and when I have ink, tatulah orang cakap dia sedih sebab I don't give a damn lah what they say. But when I have my life story, I have their names on my body, I feel the ink enter, I I rasa that pain kan. In such a way it gives me a bit of comfort. You know? Sakit kat luar ni dengan sakit kat dalam different tau. When you cry, your tears fall outside, and when you cry, your tears fall inside. So it's also very different. Uh, so that maybe that's where over the years datang daripada it, uh, the the true nature came out. I'm not here to be what you want me to be. I am here to be myself. You know, maybe people say I'm too loud. Maybe people say I'm too bad boy. Maybe people say that I'm a I'm not a good example for their children. You know, a lot of negativity. But I also believe that being real is very important. You don't judge a person by their tattoos. You don't judge a person from what they are or what they do. You know, you judge a person from the heart. It's a bit contradicting because if you ask me to pick religion or pick heart, I pick heart. If to be who I am, to make those around me happy, to make those around me comfortable, then I pilih surga dunia. Not for myself, but for the people I love. I never ever pick things for myself, because for me, whatever I do, what I do, whatever in my life I became, is all to bring a smile to people. Because to me, how much I'm happy, I'm contented in my life. I have things, you know. I live in London. I drive a sports car, you know. I have a son, you know. I have a business. Kerba, kerba buat lah, whatever lah. Deep inside, I'm still not happy. Deep inside, I'm still very empty. Why? Because you don't replace. You cannot replace. A mother's love, a dad's love, and a brother and a sibling's love, it's gone, it's dead, it's buried down. No one can give back. How I get my comfort for my son, my only blood, my only bloodline. Uh, so that pain too can never be cured. I always, I always tell people, you will not know what's a loss until you feel it. So I decided I need to be true to myself. Because if I keep on thinking about people, I lose. I will lose. I will. Hilang my jati diri dan I will be aimless. So that's where I came out slowly, and people see who is really Nick Mikael. You know, he is loud, he is noisy, he tells he whatever he speak he he tells the truth. But I believe whatever I speak and it's not nonsense, it's factual lah. And whatever image I bring, I tak pernah minta orang follow that image. 
I tak pernah cakap dengan uh, kids. I tak pernah cakap. You know when kids tell me, Abang Nik, wow, Abang Nik made tattoo cool. I always tell them, don't start. If you're clean, if your body is clean, don't start. Because tattoos are not for fun. It's for life. Tau. Until the day you die, you will bring it with you. It's, it's, not, it's not a thing yang you can just take a rubber and just erase it, you know. So, that bad boy image is actually not a rebellion. That bad boy image is not, it's just who I am. Just in the image. Tapi kalau you ask people personally, whether I'm a bad boy, so let them who watch this answer who I kind person I am. I, I just don't like these people. Kenapa I came out for that baru nak start solat tu kan? People was telling me, uh, kau tak solat apa? Apa sebab kau bikin that video? Is it for publicity sake? Banyak orang cakap I did it for publicity sake. But I told them, you see eh, a calling tu, everybody have ha- everybody has a calling tu. Everybody akan duduk tiba-tiba and fikir, can I change? You know? But how many people have tried to do that and they turn back to that bad person who they are? Because they're not ready. So I did it actually to tell people that, you know, People with tattoos yang kena yang kena look down kat masjid. People with tattoos yang society look down at them. Give them a chance. You know? Someone must say something. Give them a chance. Don't only look at them in such a way yang macam... Because I went to jail there a, a, a while ago. <laughs> and I saw people macam... I was in a cell and I asked this guy. Lo pasal? Oh, I do LT2 ah. Apa cerita? Sangkut ah. Oh, okay. He was in prison for five years. And for five bloody years, he never take drugs. When he came out of silence and three months, he take drugs back. Kat dalam tu boleh tahan tau, lima tahun tak isah dadah. After three months, isah dadah. Why? Come out. Tak nak layan kawan-kawan. Society cannot accept them. Syah, dia ni macam ni, macam ni. And kita humans, we need friends, we need people to talk to. We need, we, you know, we need people to interact. And no one want to interact. People look down at me. Go back to people who do good at me lah. Be friends. Then, be friend, be friend, be friend. It's simple. You campur lawyer, you jadi lawyer lah. You campur gangster, you jadi gangster. So that's why, for me, it's very, very simple. Why repeat offenders go back and do the same thing because they don't have their belonging? Who can accept? Back to dunia seni, mm-hmm. uh, definitely orang juga akan tanya kenapa Nick retire atau sepikan diri from dunia seni ni mm. at this age. Where pe- ada orang berlakon sampai dunia golden age kan. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Nick decide to actually stop earlier. So kenapa? The reason why I retire, I'm going to answer your question in sequence. Eh? Uh, why I retire, why I decided to retire is truthfully speaking, I am basically sick and tired of our local industry. Sebab I feel that um, the journey kan, is not a long road. The journey is in a circle. Dia akan pusing kat situ, pusing kat situ, kat situ je. Kita tak akan keluar. I sat down and I think, right? Should I be an actor for life in Singapore? Then facts come to my face. I think, oh. And I ask myself. I have a quiz in my mind. Eh? Namakan satu pelakon lelaki atau wanita yang daripada income berlakon dia je. Ada Banglo, ada BM, ada Mus. So I try, I try, I crack my brain. So then I realize he tak ada. There isn't anyone who is very well off just from duit belakon. You see, eh? industri kita macam mana tu? Kalau kita nak belakon, nama kita akan diantar untuk belakon. Kalau certain people feel that when our name is not right, our name gets dropped. It doesn't matter whichever producer wants us, whichever lah. I know many producers want me, but whenever my name gets go on top, then it's like, oh no, he's he's not uh, specific. It's gonna be like, oh he's not suitable, or you know if you must give others a chance, or they will have a lot of drama. So income too can will become very 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 tedious for an actor in Singapore, because we our opportunities is not always there. Stereotyping. Kalau dia berlakon serius, ah, sampai kau mampus lah kau berlakon serius. We cannot have an actor yang boleh berlakon serius, berlakon komedi, boleh berlakon support, apa-apa, apa-apa, apa-apa. You know, journey kita as an actor ni semua dah di set tau. So, how to grow? You cannot grow at all. 
And you cannot grow, you got no jobs. I cannot tell Singapore Powers, I cannot tell, I cannot tell uh, my bank loan, or oh, this month I cannot pay you uh, because TV never give me job. That's, this is more on the, on the, on the financial side. Uh. I took a break on acting from 2010 to 2013 because I went to shipping. My life was great. Money was great. Then 2014, um, the Greece main industry crash. So I left the job. And at the same time, I came back in 2014 with dramas like Kasi Babisi, like Saga. And that year was a very good year for me. 2014, the industry took very good care of me. I earned quite good, quite well. Then it came 2015. The whole year only one drama. And mind you, I just won Best Actor. No? Tak funny ke dalam industri kita ni kita bila orang yang menang Best Actor akan dapat the most least job? Tanyalah semua yang pernah menang tu. Bila kita menang, we will get the least job. I don't know why. Many actors, actresses complain whenever they won, the journey will be very, very difficult for them. They will get lesser jobs. It's been going on for years. Then I look at Alas Kadi. I look at Alas Kadi. The only, act, the only celebrity yang pernah menang Pesta Perdana three times in a row, eh, it's a hat-trick. Eh. He brought so much joy to people, to television. He gave ratings to all these producers with, with their shows. No? What happened to him? Who takes care of him now? Donation? Outside bodies? Mana producer-producer yang dulu dia bikin show hit tu? Would they give up their salaries or their comfortable chair for him? Then, the backstabbing of the industry. Oh, the backstabbing of the industry. You know, fans out there, sometimes I, I, I kind of pity them. Because people know I'm real. If I don't want to take picture, means I don't want to take picture. If I want to go back, I make sure I go back. You know what goes on in the green room or the backstage after you take picture of a celebrity in Singapore? They will go at the back and say, Aku rimas jangan dengan makcik itu. Aku rimas jangan dengan ini. Not all lah. Aku rimas lah. And they can go out back smiling. That's how fake some of our, some of our celebrities. It happens all over the world. The fakeness. Then I look at the industry, I look at the people. Tak kelakar ke? Fans fans Singapore, ada fan club untuk artis Malaysia di Singapore. Fans fans Singapore, boleh sponsor wedding untuk artis Malaysia in Singapore. Fans fans Malaysia, will do so many events for Malaysian artists in Singapore. So, apa value you as pelakon Singapore? Apa value you as celebrity Singapore? I don't blame them. Those fans fans yang gila sangat dengan all Malaysian artists. I never blame them. Murahnya pelakon-pelakon tempatan, normalnya pelakon-pelakon tempatan, eksklusifnya pelakon-pelakon tempatan, salahnya is industry. We are not meant to look expensive. Imagine, we are Singapore. Look at our other language from industry. It's so big. It's accepted. But why pelakon-pelakon tempatan kita are meant to look so normal? So ordinary. Janganlah kita nak tengok bila time award show semua pakai kot jalan kat red carpet tu. Janganlah kita nak tengok bila ada event semua tepuk macam monyet macam papet dekat 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 you know, dekat TV dekat you know, dekat the event. Being a celebrity is more than that. What's the exclusiveness? So who makes an artist exclusive? Who fights for our artists? Who fights for the local industry? Who fights to make us big. We are a multiracial country. But how come countries like Indonesia, who is an Islamic country, Malaysia, who is an Islamic country, they can have more interesting dramas, they can have more intense uh, situation, they can have more deeper scripts. Kenapa kita yang multiracial country ni, who say we want to have an industry, who say we want to have... You see, actors, eh, they get good with good roles tau. You play normal roles, you just be normal. Pasal kita dikontrol. Kita dikontrol dan kita tak boleh menunjukkan banyak our bad side on television. They have this thing, something macam PSB value or whatever lah. You know, to make sure yang macam, okay, kita boleh bikin tapi kita cannot show so much about our Malay community. You know, 
So sekarang daripada industri kan dah masuk pula politics. Dah masuk pula uh, masuk ada scene, ada some uh, kalau scene tu heavy sangat nanti ada pula nanti surat ke email daripada some Islamic Islamic institution kat Singapore ni to hantam them. So nampak sangat that this is such a messy a control industry yang our pelakon-pelakon ni tak boleh free. I cannot take this anymore. You nak tengok pembodek-pembodek negara, you nak tengok you nak tengok I call them uh, papet-papet TV, you just on the television. Muka yang selalu tu keluar, itulah papet. And I'm tired, you know why? Because all this puppet, the orang call me, eh bro, macam bro, gua belakang lu, bro, blah, 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 blah. I don't need anybody behind my back. Gua pergi perang seorang pun tak apa. Industri kita ni, it is so um, controversial, it is so funny. Walls can talk. Don't call me bro, tapi kat set, you know, people lancar away about me. Don't don't call me bro, you know, blah, 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 but people talk about me. And sometimes I sedih. You know, because they are my friends. They are my friends, with, I, some, you know, that I... What was before? I don't know lah. What's the point about talking about about me, right? Cuma, oh, I'm gonna mix this up, people lah. Uh, then there was one time there was a disappointment that you know I was offered a role. It was um, it was confirmed that I got the role. I was supposed to go over to shoot, but last minute they dropped me. Atas reason tak sesuai. Then why the hell you offer me the role? Why the hell you give me payment? Why the hell you give me dates? So I find out, you know, it was because a particular actress didn't want me to be around. So what's my value as an actor? My dad passed away when I was filming and the next day I came to shoot. I can think about the industry. Can the industry think about me? It's not my cat died, no. My father died. It's not my cat died, no. My father died. My only father. Kita bapak ada satu je. He died. Hari ni I tanam dia, besok I pergi shoot. Did the industry think about me? Did the industry think about my sacrifice? No. They just will think about ratings, about people that they like, about people that can bow to them, about people that can puji them. So why should I fight for the industry? Why should I still be in the industry? There, might, there is so many backstabbings, there is so many people who is fake, So itu saya dis lah. Out of ten pelakon kita kat Singapore ni kan, tujuh lapan fake, dua is real, and those dua tu kan, I just working actors. I like people to be upfront to me. I like people to be straight. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. You don't like me, tell me I don't like. But it's don't say you don't like me. Tapi kau nampak aku tiba-tiba, eh bro, tiba-tiba lah jadi bro. Bila aku kawin kakak kau. But you know, because I still feel at that particular time yang I don't want to make things bad, I just acknowledge. You know. Kadang-kadang I met actors yang who is so kuat dengan jati diri, who fights for industry, but end of the day we need to eat, and we become sellouts. I became a sellout. I became a pembodik negara. I became I became a puppet TV. Because I wanted jobs. Then when I see yang I tak dihargai, wow. Because I don't know ah, people who know me ah, like, name me one drama that I came on set. Yes, ah, maybe we'll see I'm a diva on set. I'm more of a diva when I go on set, katakan dah pukul 12, pukul 1 and I'll make comments like, Eh, hey, anjing kat SPCA pun dapat makan tau, Lanshan. Kita tak payah makan ke? I'm a diva on set, maybe I'm like, can I have coffee? But that's normal, what? that's what actors ask for. What? I've not heard people say that Nick Mikael is a bad actor. But I hear many people say Nick Mikael is a problematic actor. How problematic I am, right? When I go on set, when, it, when the word action comes, I give my best. Ah. And that's what that's what I've always been doing. I'm not going to be here to tell you, to make you say to me, you're not good enough. Sorry to say this, who the f are you to tell me I'm not good enough? You people are just people, working people, like the small, kurang start 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 start, and now you become the decision makers. Do you know what the hardship of an actor? Do you really know how to act? Do you know how to read script? Do you know what we go through? No. Actors who just rely on their income from acting will not live in condominiums, will not drive a sports car or a continental car, will not have very good financial standing. But people who works in that office, people who make the decisions are the comfortable people. 
orang yang macam nak mampus fight for the industry who comes out on TV to be the face of the industry are all suffering. But people who see in that comfortable chair, ada orang lah yang ada condo, ada orang yang ada comfortable car. It's a colony, it's monopolized. It's for me it's a dictatorship. So why should I be in this industry when it's like that? I miss acting. I miss the word action, I miss the word cuts, I miss the lights, I miss everything. But at the same time also, I cannot face all this anymore.